everyone, my name is Allison K, and if you're seeing this, that means I hit 500 subscribers. I am so excited. I'm doing a giveaway and a Q&A in today's video, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'll start out with the giveaway briefly, but I'll explain more about like when it opens and everything here at the end of the video. So, starting out, I've hit 500 subscribers. Thank you so much to all 500 of you, and uh, I'm just so, so thankful and grateful and blessed. Anyway, so um, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I am thrilled and just like it's mind blowing. I remember having like 200 subscribers and now I'm, and like that was a lot. Everyone says this is so cliche, but seriously, like I'm like, when did I get all these subscribers? Like I was just at 200, so it's really really cool and I appreciate it so much. Um, so I am going to do a giveaway to thank you guys. Um, so I'm giving away this Instax mini camera. It's a Polaroid camera. It's pretty cool. It's white and. I just like how clean that looks. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to give this away. I'll talk about that at the end of the video. But real quick, let's jump right into the Q&A portion. T and D Life asked me, um, she said, what's your favorite and least favorite thing about YouTube? My favorite thing about YouTube is the community, talking to people, making friends, um, watching people's videos. I watch YouTube videos all the time, more than I watch TV. I love YouTube. Um, my least favorite thing is probably when people do sub for a sub. I hate saying that, but it's true. Um, I don't like when people are like, sub for sub, just subscribe back to me. I'm like, no, I want to be subscribed to people because I want to be subscribed to them because I watch their content. And the same, like vice versa, like I want people to subscribe to me because they enjoy my content. Um, and I hope that at least most of my subscribers are that way and they actually watch my content. Um, I know that maybe that's not completely the case, but I really wish that it was. I hope that it is because why subscribe to someone and see all of their videos in your feed if you're not gonna watch their videos, you know? All right, my next question from TND Life is, um, what made you start YouTube? What made me start was when I was about 14, I saw, I watched a lot of YouTube videos and I really enjoyed them and I just thought, why not give it a shot? I actually watched a few, mainly like three beauty vlog or beauty gurus and um, I feel like it, the name has transitioned from beauty guru to beauty vlogger or something like that. I don't really know. I don't follow that community that much anymore. But anyway, so I started my own channel when I was 14 and I kind of did beauty videos. It was a train wreck, <laughs> but um, I did like fashion videos, like clothes and stuff too. And it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, but I also filmed my dog reacting to the double rainbow video. And like I commented on my, ch on my video and I got freaked out and deleted my whole channel. It was crazy um, but where would I be if I never deleted it so I always come back to YouTube and keep making channels and keep making videos because I love it so much um, what keeps you motivated to make videos my love for it like I just was talking about I love it so much but also um, I now make videos that are more just like lifestyle videos so things in life inspire me and then I want to make a video about it and so that's just kind of what happens or I see other people do videos and I'm like I want to do that that's really cool so those things motivate me and inspire me to make videos Stacy from let's cook y'all asked me um, she won't I think she basically just asked video or questions for Luke and I to do to answer my husband um but she said I want to answer this one she said what's your favorite day of the week and why today's Thursday and honestly Thursdays are usually pretty good days and we don't do a lot in the evening and I really enjoy that. I really appreciate that. So Thursdays are a great day. Um, <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to mess up your name, girl. But uh, I can't even try. L-I-A-C-I-A-R-I-A. -I -I -A -I -A. Leah Korea? I don't know. Um, she asked some questions. But I think they're all like for Luke and I to answer together. So moving on, um, Katie Owens asked me some questions as well. I love Katie. She is one of my friends from YouTube, my first friend on this channel, like that I made through YouTube really, through this channel. Um, she said, where is your favorite place to visit? My favorite place to visit is the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Um, Luke's family has a cabin up there, so we've been going since we started dating. And I absolutely love it and adore it up there. It is a beautiful, beautiful area of the world from what I've seen of the world. I mean, no matter what, it is beautiful, and I love it. So, the Upper Peninsula, anywhere up there. Lake Superior is one of my favorite places. Like, we go to Grand Marais, and like the Munising areas, um, and Marquette, and it's just, it's all great. <clears throat> um, let's see. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you visit? And it has to be somewhere you've never been before. Um, I really just want to travel the U.S., but 
I, I mean, if I, I don't know, I want to travel the world, but not that badly. Like, I'm okay with staying in the U.S. if I get to see a lot of the U.S. So, I would like to go to Canada, maybe. I don't know, it sounds cool-ish. Um, somewhere tropical would be nice. And um, from watching Jill and Jessica counting on, or like just counting on, I guess it's called now, um, Joy's, Joy and Austin went on their honeymoon in Switzerland, and that looked really cool. I'm watching Sadie run around the yard. Um, Switzerland looks really cool, and also my grandma is from England, so I'd want to go to England. So that's a lot of answers, but probably somewhere tropical or in Europe. In short, that's where I'd like to go. Um, what's your favorite thing to order at Starbucks is her next question. I used to be a barista, so like, I have a lot of favorites. I don't think I can have just one. Passion iced tea is really good. Iced caramel macchiatos are really good. Caramel frappuccinos. I wish they still had the caramel flan, like for holidays or whatever, or seasonal, because that was the most amazing drink ever. Caramel flan frappuccinos are my number one favorite. May they rest in peace. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love all things at Starbucks. As far as warm drinks go, I like the um, peppermint mochas a lot. You can get those all year, not just at Christmas too. Um, and then her final question is, where is your favorite place to eat? Okay, favorite place in the whole world it has to be Little Pig's Barbecue in Asheville, North Carolina. But just anywhere, I would have to say Chick-fil-A. You guys, I already filmed this video once actually, and I don't like how the lighting was, even though it's probably worse in this video. Um, but my favorite place to eat, I already thought about this, is Chick-fil-A. But I love a good burger, but like Chick-fil-A is amazing. I don't get to go nearly enough. Gracie E. asked, what is your favorite food and dessert? Um, I don't know if she was just asking that for me or for Luke and I both, but my favorite food is like barbecue food or burgers um, or Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and my favorite dessert, anything chocolate. Just give me all the chocolate, guys. Just all of it. Jordan XOXO35 asked me, when did you decide you wanted to start your own YouTube channel? And I kind of already asked that, so I'll just say when I was 14. Um, how old are you? I am 21 years old. 21 and a half. <laughs> um, how long have you been married is her next question. I have been married for almost two years. In July it'll be two years, so like a year and a half, you could say. Um, where are you from? I am from Michigan. It's, I'm from Michigan. I was born in Ohio, so the Midwest. <laughs> and that's it for her. Um, the rest of her questions are for Luke and I both. Bethany Gleam, Glime, G-L-I-E-M. Um, sorry, Bethany. I have a best friend named Bethany. I love your name. It's great. <laughs> um, but she said, can you give some food slash budget tips for college students since you went to college? And then she also says, I would love some tips for inexpensive and on-the-go food. Um, budget tips for food would just be stick to produce. Um, shop at like Aldi or any discount stores that you might have. Um, but produce is actually really cheap. Potatoes are really good if you want to make baked, baked potatoes. Um, but I don't know about like in a dorm room what you can do. You probably can't do that. Um, try to stay away from the freezer section when possible. That's really expensive. And all of the like chips and stuff are expensive. Pretzels are a good cheap snack. Um, you can eat them with peanut butter, Nutella, I don't know, cheese, all kinds of good stuff. Um, but yeah, stick to produce if you can. It's just cheaper and it's better for you. On the go food. Um, cheese cubes, as long as they don't sit out too long, um, on the go. Granola bars are okay, um, I don't know, I'm not really good at this. I feel like that has to be a whole video too, that's my thing. I, like, I need to think about this and make a whole video on it, so I'm sorry for the bad answers. Um, but she said, also any other college advice you might have would be awesome. I went to college for two years, well three years, got my associate's degree, and I didn't know what to do, I still don't know what to do with my life. And I don't know if college was the right decision or not, so I would just say get a job and work if you don't know what you want to do, and then save up, and you can always decide what you want to do and go to college then. That's my advice, but it's kind of probably controversial. I don't know. So anyway, um, that is it for the q and I'm going to talk about the giveaway now. So the giveaway opens up on Monday the 19th. I think that's when I'll upload the video, like this video. So it's open now. It'll be open through Friday at midnight. And then on Saturday, I'll announce the winner, and I will email the winner. Um, I'll have your email through Gleam, the website's through, and they just choose at random. But you have to be a U.S. or you have to be in the U.S., 18 or older, and subscribe to my channel to win. So those are the three like big credentials, and then you can like 
do other things like check out my Instagram, my Twitter to get more like vote or like more chances to win, more entries. Entries is the word. Um, so yeah, that's about it. And it is for this whole thing is just because I hit 500 subscribers and I'm so thankful, so honored, and I really, really appreciate it. Um, so thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Allison Kay. I hope you learned a little bit more about me through this Q&A. And yeah, just thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless, and I will see you later. Bye.